Jeannie Robertson. Oh, she's a heck of a lot of fun, Jeannie Robertson. Okay, everybody, this is Jeannie Robertson, and I'm going to start in a few minutes when they start rolling. I've got a new way to give away the first book uh, prize that we'll give away, and I'll explain it to you in just a minute as the comments begin to come in. I'm not live in my office. I am not live on the back porch in North Carolina. I am in Savannah, Georgia, and I'm at Jane Tucker's house from New York City. Yes, she has a house in Savannah, and it is a beautiful house. And we're going to do the show from here on Saturday at noon Eastern time. And Jane's going to be joining in, too, and we're going to show you some things in our house because I don't have a house like this. Neither do y'all. Don't even think you begin to. It's unbelievable. But Jane's here as well as friends of ours, uh, Jill, and what's your name? <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> But Left Brain is not here, but I will be back to see him on Saturday night. So everything's rolling here. So no, I see no names. We're on a new computer here. And normally uh, I give prizes right away and I see no names coming. So Patrick, you're in Burlington taking handling all this. Why are there no names that are rolling right now? Hello, Hello. Patrick. Uh, I see plenty of names rolling. Do you not see names rolling? I, I see, see no uh, names rolling on my thing. How about Jane? Okay. okay. What I want to do is because we don't know who rolled first. So when I'm going to look away right now, I'm going to look away and I'm going to put my name down where the names are. And if there's a name there, they win a prize. If not, the next one that pops up does. Here's the name. And it looks like I've won the prize. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll tell you who the first one was. What happened to my, the names aren't rolling. I'm back here. Put yourself back on there and see if they'll come on there. Okay. Now Patrick wins the prize. Okay. Here they come. <laughs> can they see you too? They can see you. a shirt. Are you in a t-shirt? Well, I am yeah, sure. You didn't know you were going, but I see no names. Okay. So do you, you see where in the upper right hand corner where it says comments? Yes. Click on that button, but don't turn yourself off. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. Okay, sign up for e comments. Ah, oh, hello. Okay, I'm going to move this way and I'm going to come down. The nearest name wins a prize. And that name is Julia Myers, F L U H A R T Y. Jane Tucker is writing it down. Hey, Julia, Julia Myers, what? Tu uh, Flew Hardy. And so you are not the first one, we're sure, because we got it all messed up, but my finger landed on you. You have to write Tony, T O N I, at genierobertson.com and tell her which book, everything that I have in my little store, you can have except we're not giving away the seven hour and 20 minute audio version today until later. So you win, and if you've already got the book or if you want a hat, the, the left brain hat, whatever, you just tell Tony and tell her your. Snail mail address, and she will mail it exactly where you want to. Congratulations, Julia Myers, Blue Party. I don't know where you're from, Judy, because you didn't say. Anyway, I don't know why it's not rolling, but I tell you what, right before we came on, I touched it just to move it around in my lap, and the whole thing disappeared. So that's just the way it is. Let me do it, get some logistics out of the way. We had Jeannie Seely as our guest last Saturday. And what a classy lady. And she and her team, her husband, her publicist, and best friends came. And it turned out I knew the best friends. He was my escort at something in 1964. And I told him I remembered him because I thought that was what I should do. And we had a great time. And y'all were so responsive. I'm going to do be my special guest on Saturday. So if you still have any questions you want to ask me, I'll be here at Jane's. And then when the show is over, at one o'clock, head straight to the airport and fly back to North Carolina. We've been working all weekend in Savannah and having a little fun, too. We've gotten a lot done. But we did appreciate so much uh, Jeannie Seeley coming last week. The next week will be April 3rd. And y'all are going to get so excited when I tell you this. Our special guest on April 3rd will be Henry Cho, C-H-O. If you have Sirius XM and you listen to the family comedy shows, you have heard Henry Cho. 
several years ago, I did a show in New York. Jane, remember I stayed with you and went over. And the first question was, who are the top five people that you like to listen to? And I had never met Henry Cho, but I said his name first because he's got material that is hilarious. He's also been in movies. He'll tell us all about it. And you're going to love him. That'll be on April 3rd. I'll keep some of the other names quiet for now. So let's keep going on today's show. And now I'm going to, can you make them roll again, Patrick? Create your account. Good news. No passwords. I, I just touched. Touch nothing. Touch nothing. Okay. Well, it's gone. Okay. So if you look in the upper right hand corner where it says comments. Yes, it's gone. Click on comments. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Um, well, I'll throw some comments up for you. Okay. Can you take over while I get back on Chrome and get in again? No, don't go anywhere. I'm oh, not no, gonna you're, you're on. Okay. Well, hey, everybody. But they can't see me, see me, can they? Yeah, they can. Well, I can't see anything. So I'm you just going to keep going. Yeah, I don't I really going. need to be able to see myself. So I'm just going to go on. How about you pulling up a name for a prize? Oh, well, I've got an idea, um, Jeannie. Put your finger on the on the trackpad and just move it around. See if it comes back up. No, and I feel a little foolish because we don't. The mouse. I didn't bring it. I thought it would be this way. I just touched the comments. Oh, here, down here. Now I'm back to the car. Um, Okay, can everybody hear it? Hear me? Oh, you're on. Okay, well, let me tell you what we did. We've been to, uh, in addition to our work, if you remember, for the last year, we haven't been doing many shows, <laughs> theater shows, because of COVID. So I started saying, isn't it about time for us to buy some new clothes? And Jane said, you haven't worn the ones we got before COVID hit. Shop in your own closet. So she came up three or four weeks ago, you might remember it, and went through my closet and she said, you don't need any new clothes. And I said, but I was already planning to come down and get some. So I came down and we found a lady here that can just draw a picture. And then she's really good. And then from that can make the outfit. So we just told her two or three things, two or three or five or six, a, a few, a few outfits that we want, because I sincerely believe that before long we're going to have in these having these theater shows uh, like we were maybe not with as many people if you want to know if your tickets that you bought and have held on to for a year are good go to Jeannie robertson there's no i in Jeannie, and you can check on open to the public we try to change them the day they get changed if they get pushed back but now and this is what i think is a ray of hope we are adding new shows for the few weekends that are left because of the time they kept pushing them that way. So I hope I'm coming to a theater near you before long. And I, I sure do. We can't maybe have meet and greets or, or afterwards, but, um, you know, if we can, we, we will. Uh, a couple of other things. Now, let's give another prize away, Patrick. Since I can see nothing, why don't you go ahead and just put your finger down on somebody's name and then re say that name. Okay. Uh, how about? Um, Not how about. Don't go looking through the list. Just put your <laughs> name down because my people are sharp and they're going to say he picked somebody. He's looked oh. down the names. Just put your finger, put something over one eye and put your finger down on the names. Okay. I'm, I, I'm cutting them on now. And I first, Donna, uh, oh gosh, it just went away. I coursed. <laughs> How you spell that last name? Okay, hold on. There she is. Donna Eichhorst, E-I-C-H-O-R-S-T. Donna E-I-C-H-O-R-S-T. Donna, if you will email Tony at JeannieRobertson.com, you will get Jeannie's Cadillac. I mean, you'll get a um what <laughs> is and tell them who Tony is, Patrick. Tony's my mother-in-law, but also has has run Jeannie's office for 79 years. <laughs> it was not 42 years. 42 years. Two years. So one of the things that we asked this year when I said that I this excuse me, this week, 
And I said I was going to be my own special guest was for y'all to send questions to me because every week, if you'll notice, for example, on Sunday or Monday, I'll start playing clips by Henry Cho so y'all can really get to know him. Remember two weeks ago, we had Kay Francis. She was hilarious. Everybody that we've had on, this will be show number 54 on um, Saturday because I told y'all when it started that, that I would do it until the COVID was over. So. We're, we're rolling on. And you would think that we would have this computer stuff better, but now we've started traveling a little bit and I'm not sitting in my office doing them by myself. I'm sitting on this fancy computer that Patrick brought and shoved in my face. And apparently I don't have all the rules. Is that right, Patrick? That's right. Well, Patrick, it's, speak, because if you don't speak, what will I do? It's, it's not my fault at all, I know. whatever it is. I, know. I will say this, Jenny. I booked a speech yesterday for June, live in person. A real speech? Yeah, for three bags of potato chips and a Dr. Pepper, but still, uh -oh. it's a live speech. See, what everybody, let me point out, I started giving speeches in 63. I signed my first contract. And there's a man named Gene Ward from Alabama that writes questions every week. And I, I hope you'll do some more this week, Gene, about how do you select your stories? Uh, how do you put your stories together? Which stories do you tell at certain occasions? And so a lot of people seem a little bit interested in that while I realize everybody isn't. Patrick's daddy was my business partner for years and he unfortunately passed away. And Patrick in the meantime was in Nashville for 10 years and then married Tony's daughter because I introduced them, although they did not name their child Jeannie. And then they're in Burlington now and he's around the corner. And when the COVID hit, I'll tell you, it was very, very nice to have another speaker, a professional speaker in town. And Patrick, we've put together some good stories since COVID started, haven't we? We have. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I was talking about it today, how much we've learned over the last who, year. Who did you talk to it about? Oh, um, our friend Theo. And oh, yeah. OK, well, uh, now the question is, if we've worked on some good stories, who's going to get to have those stories? You or me? Oh, you take them. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> OK. And in the morning, because it is Thursday and even though I'm in Savannah uh, in the morning, I'll get up at five o'clock and by six o'clock, I will be listening to uh, Neil Steele out of Virginia, Gloucester, Virginia, on the show that goes all over the nation. And we even think some other countries. And I will be on that show starting at eight oh five. And from six until eight oh five, I'll be listening and coattailing off of what Neil and his gang are doing on the radio. And I come on for an hour with no ads and we try to be funny and see if we can outdo each other. That to me was a real stretch to start doing and it's proven very beneficial. So everybody that thinks, how do you keep going in things? Remember, we we just figure it out. and We got together and Patrick and I started this. And we You can see how well this is going. <laughs> I'm looking at an absolute blank turned off computer. But the, well, the, I have an idea of what you can do to fix it, but we'll do that once the show's over because I okay. don't want to. Um, okay. Now I want to give away the uh, seven hour and 20 minutes, seven audio book that we did last fall. We never thought we'd do something like that, but we, we did this in the closet of my house. And so Patrick, don't look. Put your hand, the other hand over your eye. Can they see you? They can now. Okay. Well, how come they can see you, but they can't see me? I'm just kidding. Jenny, we're going to talk about this afterwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But without looking at it, would you put your name on a, another finger? And this one is going to get our super duper um, prize. And that's the, and remember, if you have a, a home where people have been in there for a year, and you don't think, well, I don't want to sit and listen to seven hours and 20 minutes of Jeannie reading her own book and being funny. Well, those people would welcome this and they can play them for all of them. So think about that if you win the prize. Well, okay. it, I'll just say this. Um, it was a lot of fun. I think you and I both had a lot of fun recording it. But to be able to just listen to it everywhere, whether you're taking a walk or driving in your car, it, it's just a way to you know, enjoy, enjoy the book without having to sit down and read it. 
I know what, and Patrick, remember, gets a percentage of the audio book. So, hey, he wants, he always mentioned, okay, are you going to now select the winner of this week's I audio am. book? I am. You ready? Yes. And those of you who are watching, Patrick, make sure he doesn't peek and pick out some name that he knows. Of. Okay. So, bam. Mary for now. There it is. I, I just put her up on the screen. M A R I. Last name F E R N A U. N A U. Does she say where she's from? Mary, where are you from? She's on, so she can comment. Okay, oh, she's, she's so excited. Who? Okay. Jeannie, how do you spell the last name? Spell the last name again for Jane to write down. F E R N A U. Hush okay. up, Daphne. Is that your dog? That's Daphne. Okay. Um, She's saying, let me in. I have to pee. No, Patrick, don't take the show down. Sorry. Help, can you help me? Okay. Patrick, look through the comments and see if anybody is asking me a question. And I'll just sit here and see if you can pull up a question and I'll answer it to a blank screen. Okay. Let's see. There are two dogs. They got a big dog named Tucker. I can see you, Janie. So um, we, we love Tucker. I know. <laughs> Tucker is, question? Can still see you. Hold I know. on. I'm looking for questions. Tucker is a, an English cream golden retriever. You can get those at Starbucks. Um, so are there any questions for Janie? I'm looking. I bet there's two. Do, 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 do. I'll probably have to pay a commission. Okay. No. <laughs> I can tell you my favorite part of Savannah, other than being at Jane Tucker's house, because she's a gourmet cook with her friends and I'm now my friends. They have these squares, uh, and I read Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil uh, this past year during the COVID again, and that was filmed in Savannah, and there's squares by how many of them? Nine? 22. 22 squares with trees, that moss hanging from the trees. And because of the weather this week, everybody's happy eating outside. I hate to tell y'all this if it's snowing where you are. But Savannah is great. And they have a lady the here azaleas. who can make clothes. <laughs> what? The oh, the azaleas are blooming. And there's oh, hot I've got, I've got a question. Out. I'm, I'm okay, going to ask I see okay. a great question, but I want to ask Jane, is is it Spanish moss that's hanging from the trees in Savannah, like in Alabama? In yes. Mobile. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, a lot of people make the mistake of grabbing that and putting it in their house as decoration, but what they don't realize is little bugs live inside of that Spanish yeah, moss. Yeah, they're chiggers, and they're nasty little beasts. They are. Yes. You okay. Don't want to, you don't want to touch Spanish moss. No. Yeah. Here, here's a question for you and Jane, Jeannie. I had a question for the two of us. Do you and Jane have certain flea markets that are your favorites? Um, well, yeah, all of them. How many did we go to today? I can't remember. Three. Three, and we didn't even start till 11 o'clock. I know we had to save some for Jill. Tomorrow. That's right, Jill. We're going tomorrow. Uh, we have bought. Our favorite is in Greensboro uh, near the airport. Actually, she's right. Near the Greensboro Airport. And we also go to the Red Collection in Greensboro, both yeah, of them. But near the Greensboro Airport. Um, it, 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 it's really, I, I kill time there a lot. If I take a student from Elon to the airport, I don't want to drive back to Burlington because um, if I do that, they could call me and say the plane didn't go and I'd have to turn around and go back to Greensboro. So I use it as an excuse to go in without Jane because we go in with Norma Rose. There were a lot of questions about Norma Rose and you wanted to know if uh, we were mad at each other. I thought that was an interesting term. Not angry. Y'all mad at each other. Norma Rose has been under the weather. She said to tell everybody hello. I've talked to her since I've gotten down here several times and uh, she's going to be fine. And for since we're entering the second year now, um, Jane Tucker's the only one that's been on more than once. And Norma pops in when she wants to, but we want to have Norma Rose back on for no other hour. I know that y'all love her, and I do too. And so it's going to be fun. Any more questions you see there? 
Savannah was great. So is Palm Desert, where y'all live. They've come to my shows when I'm out there. Okay, anything else? We're we're dwindling down here. I can just tell. Patrick, oh, are you there? On, Jenny. Yeah, I'm here. I'm talking to Tony. Um, oh, Tony's calling in. Who makes Tony's your clothes? There. What? Who makes your clothes? Her name is Kate. Kate Lyons and Tom Lyons. Kate, what's Kate, Kate Lyons? Lyons in um, Kate Lyons in uh, Savannah. And uh, Tom and Lynn in New York City. Okay, I don't know what happened here. I don't know what happened, y'all. Looks like Jeannie's, Jeannie's out. So, um, well, you lost her. I'm sure she'll be back, but um, y'all make sure you tune in on um, Saturday at noon, and your Jeannie's going to be back on the back porch. We're going to solve any technical problems, hopefully, and we're going to make sure it's going to be a good time. So thank y'all so much for tuning in, and we will be Back on Saturday at noon, live from the back porch, Jane Tucker style. Thank you.